Hey guys, this is Paleo Twister from Rad Family 100, and I'm here to show you another endless power source, but this time using water. So, you need here a source block here and a source block here, which creates the endless water source right here. That's where you put your liquid transfer node, which is made by a block of redstone, a filter pipe, two lapis, and a bucket, and two iron. And these transfer pipes are just made by the like this. You make the energy pipes. You can just use normal energy pipes. You don't have to use all these special ones that they're showing. Or you could just replace the redstone with an ender pearl, which gives you four. So it takes that, and you need the world interactions upgrade, which will actually take that, the infinite water source out of there into here, and then you just hook it up to a decomposer from Minechem, which it fills up with water here, which makes two hydrogens and one oxygen, which is water. So you have these relocators, which are like item pipes and you have to have these module extractions because if you don't it will just fill up so you have that that actually will take the extractions out and for those all you have to have is the four blocks of redstone in the module base which is just iron lots of it so then you have it going the have the pipes going from the decomposer into these two better barrels which have hydrogen in one and oxygen in the top one and then I have out of this hydrogen better barrel I have it going into this sterling generator which just powers this because it uses so much power because it's always running but you can also have the power so I have it going the relocator pipes going from here to here to this sterling generator which is hooked up to our oxygen supply I also have a decomposer here just for use in our mine chem and then you still have will have a whole lot of leftover hydrogen too so what you can do is you just put another one of these extractions hooked up to the side of this battle barrel making two relocators attached to these furnaces which will, then whenever you take any hydrogen out it will automatically put more hydrogen in just because you have it hooked up to there and so it will send a signal to this better barrel saying that it needs more hydrogen so it will send it and so I have a chest up here which then will like uh, split the items evenly putting them into these furnaces which then these two hoppers put it into this chest so this has been Paleo Twister from Rad Family 100. And be sure to check out Rad Will's video on how to use lava for a different way to make an infinite power source. And be sure to check out our Let's Play just to see some multiplayer action. Thanks for watching. Bye.